Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey man. Do you think I'm a good photographer? Yes. Did someone say you weren't? Not with their words. They wrote it down on a piece of paper and then slid it over to me. So technically they did say it with their words. Why are you beating off around my question? What are you talking about? I answered the question, I'm not beating off around it. Did you mean it? Yes. Okay, it just seems like you're kind of unsure. It's not that I'm unsure, it's just that you kind of just... Just say it, coward! You lack creative direction, okay? Either go full Edward Hopper, or crazy photographer or YouTuber. Like, you can't go in between, it just doesn't work. Until you get one of those, you're, just, you're never gonna be great. No one's gonna buy your prints when you're dead. And that could be soon. Have you looked at yourself? Sorry, man. Sorry. No, I, I think I needed to hear that. Yeah. Wait, do you think I'm a good photographer? No. <laughs> um, updates. I can probably think of a few. Here's the most relevant update. I'm f***ing tired. Believe it or not, another year has passed us by, and I still haven't produced a book like I said I would, so I guess I'm just a lying crybaby bitch. Regarding the book on this channel, lately it's been all quiet on the western front, or at least the book front. And just like that literary classic, it is quite possible that I won't be happy with my own published works until I'm dead. Long story short, I'm still working on it. Without getting into too many details, some things have changed, and now the book has the potential to be even more jam-packed with photos. So that's why it's taking a while. Well, that and creative constipation. And real constipation, why not throw that in there too? It will be a book, not a zine. And worry not, there will undoubtedly be a video about it once I finish it, hopefully this year. But I said the same thing last year, so don't get your hopes up about the book or honestly anything. I'm working on several cool videos, two or three of them have already been shot, and three of them are currently in production. Some seemingly almost indefinitely. One of the videos is of course Ectochrome Christmas 4, a cult favorite. What cult that is and if it in fact does exist is not relevant. I'm sort of in pre-production on a really big video right now. It's gonna be a huge undertaking for sure. For some reason my head, heart, gut, and sphincter are all telling me it'll be somewhere around four hours long. There's no telling if this video will actually come to fruition but it's in the works. Two of the videos I've already shot actually take place in the exact same location. I'll leave all the nitty gritty details to future Jason, who has to figure all that out. Basically, Caleb and I went to a really cool location, but we both kind of felt like we didn't have the right gear with us, um, so we made a separate video a month later when we went back. I have a half shot video about a cool camera from the 50s that Monica and I actually MacGyvered the crap out of to get working. Sadly, the day that it came time to test it, in an unrelated coincidence, the internal mechanisms literally sh themselves and jammed up the camera. I found a repair guy who was willing to take on the job and he's doing a fantastic CLA and repair right now. But it's not easy, so the whole process has taken about half a year. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for that video to see the light of day, or at least the light of your cell phone screen while you're taking a dump at work. Not to flex too hard, because I don't have any muscles and I might hurt myself, but I have a couple rare film stocks that were kindly submitted by some viewers. You probably already know who you are, and of course, I'll be doing videos on those. Lastly, Caleb, the man that you saw in the opening sketch, Caleb and I have been thinking about doing a podcast together. We've been thinking about it for quite a while. We have a really good name for it, and we're basically on the same page about everything. But I wanted to put that out there and kind of gauge interest if that's something you guys would want to see. We've talked about possibly making it sort of a limited thing, like 10 episodes, maybe. We've also talked extensively about making it a video podcast with occasional guests. So, yeah, where do you land with all this? I know that there's an ocean of podcasts out there, but maybe we could bring something new to the table. I don't know. Lastly, before this video ends, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Has your outdated website always stood in the way of your personal happiness? 
Yep, me too. I was once like you, until I found Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform. All-in-one means there are no plugins, patches, downloads, or annoying updates that you need to keep an eye out for. You simply log in and get to work building your dream website using Squarespace's native user interface. Building from the ground up is easy with Squarespace's hundreds of template options that reflect a sense of modern yet professional design depending on what you're looking for. And if you run into any snags, Squarespace offers 24-7 award-winning customer support. So what are you waiting for? If you're ready to build a website, you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash grainy days. And if you use the code grainy days at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Yo, it's me, Jason, your favorite fashionista. Today we're gonna do a super quick home office tour, which is really just our two bedroom apartment, which I live in and pretty much never leave like a recluse, but not the cool, mysterious kind of recluse like Bruce Wayne in The Dark Knight Rises, more like Gollum. This is one of the many shelves we have from Ikea. Uh, there's several cameras on here, including the Pentax 6x7, the Polaroid SX70, the TX1, a couple of my point shoots. It's also home to really bad cable management. There's also a bunch of Monica's awards, which are proudly on display instead of my awards. Just kidding, I've never won anything. This is a very expired Polaroid that was sent to me in a pack by Zane Pollard, which I shot in the Salton Sea. Uh, Zane fixed up my Polaroid SX-70, so I'm eternally grateful for that. Of course, right next to it is the magazine cover for Dr. Edwin Land. Hi, Baxter. Hi. Right across the hallway, we have the infamous cat keyboard. Homeowners, if you're ever looking to uh, drive up the property value, look no further. Good boy. This is a second bedroom that we converted into a home office, which I share with Monica, though mostly I use it nowadays. You may recognize this view because it's where I record most of my like talking head stuff. This is my desk, my workstation, where I spend most of my time and uh, only ever really leave to go reheat some leftovers and eat them hunched over my keyboard like a rat. Whether it's doing research, editing videos, editing scans, participating in violent scorched earth campaigns over eBay bidding, this is where the magic happens. Solo, one of the greatest movies ever made. Next to my computer is the kind of like film scanning area. This is where I scan all my film and just do a bunch of various film photography crap. Best lover. I got this for myself to remind myself to stay humble. Down below the uh, film desk is my film freezer. I wanted a freezer with a glass door so I could watch all my babies in cryo sleep. It is currently filled with a load of 35 millimeter film because I can't seem to go through that stuff fast enough. This is another shelving area that features a few books and some cameras. Oops, that's not supposed to be in there. Up here we have two shelves with a bunch of just lenses for different systems, so on and so forth. I see a lot of comments about people saying that one earthquake will make this entire thing just collapse and get destroyed, but let's be honest, one earthquake and this entire apartment complex will be destroyed. All right, here in the bedroom, this is my bed where all my sleep paralysis demons visit me every night. This is where Baxter sleeps. And this is where I sleep. Uh, this is Moon in my room, which is a uh, simulation of what it's like to have a celestial body inside your bedroom without the gravitational damage that would occur. This was a gift from Monica several years ago, which I'm now realizing she might have gotten me because she thinks I'm a baby who needs a nightlight. This is my vinyl record collection that was kindly bestowed down upon me by my mom. My two favorite records that I purchased are Strange Trails by Lord Huron and of course the Blade Runner 2049 soundtrack, which uh, I'll oftentimes put on when I'm trying to fall asleep. Though the motorcycle revving sound often jolts me awake and makes me ready to fight. Or the print above my vinyl records is a print by at small woodland things on Instagram. She does a bunch of these like flat lay photos where she forages a bunch of interesting colored mushrooms and other things from the woods and kind of makes beautiful photos. So I ordered one and I think it's a fine addition. You should go follow her on Instagram. Edward Hopper. Well, that's it for the home office tour. Now get the hell out of my apartment. <laughs>